Hi guys, welcome to another Workout Wednesday with myself, Lucy O'Sullivan, and I'm going to take you through a series of exercises that anyone can do. Hi guys, so today I'm going to take you through a little warm-up. What we're going to do is we're going to warm up the upper body, and if you need to sit down, that's absolutely fine, um, and if you'd like to, you can do the stood up. So the first exercise are arm rotations. So we're going to start off with little rotations and then you can make the movements bigger and then you go the other way and you can start with the rotations big and then getting smaller. The second warm up is upper body rotations. So you can do this um, by rotating the body around to the side and then to the other side and if you wanted to you could do it with a weight, you can have the weight out in front of you, keep your hips facing forward, rotate to the side, and rotate to the side. And again, this could be done sat down. The next exercise is called a lucky cat. So um, you see them, the, the lucky cats in Chinese restaurants, basically we're going up into that 90 degree position, and you can either do one arm going down at a time, for your, this helps your rotator cuffs, or you can do both arms at the same time, but making sure that your elbows stay in a fixed position. And the last warm up today is the eye shrug. So, hands above your head, you're making a capital I with your body, and you're going to shrug your shoulders up to the sky, and then slowly retract your shoulders down to the floor. Squeeze up, shrug, and down. And you can do these a few times, just to get nice and warmed up. So we've done the warm up. The first set of exercises we're going to do, we're going to do an overhead tricep extension. So you can do this sat down or stood up, it's up to you. And all you're going to do is hold a weight over your head. So I like to hold it like a triangle over the back of my head. You bring your elbows close to the side of your face and then you extend your triceps up and slowly lower them back down. So extend up and back down. And again, as I said, you could do the sat down, extend up and relax down. So the second exercise for this pairing, we're going to do captain's chair. So depending on how strong you're feeling in your core, you could either hold the back of the sofa, um, you can sit down in, in a wheelchair for example, and all I want you to do is try and bring your knees up to your chest, lower them down, bring them up, and lower them down. So the second pairing of exercises, we're going to do some rows. Obviously, if you don't have weights, you can use some bottles of wine, you could use some tins of beans, anything that you've got to hand, you could use bands as well. Um, I'm lucky because I've got some weights. So what I'm gonna do is show you a single arm row, um, sat down and then also stood up. So what you want to do is bend over, so bring your ribs to your thighs and you're gonna pull your arm up and down. And if you want to do that stood up, that would be like this. Bend over, hand on your knee, nice flat back, and pull. And if you wanted to improve that, you could go for a double arm row with the other weight and pull in at the same time. So the second exercise is a Russian twist. You can do this in a wheelchair. Um, if you can, you'd lift up your legs, but if not, you just keep them on the floor. Um, and all I want you to do is rotate from one side to the other, rotate and rotate. And if you wanted to, you can hold a weight with this. And I'll show you the floor version of this as well with the weight. So you'd sit down on the floor on your coccyx bone Feet up in the air if you're feeling good. If your lower back hurts, keep your feet on the floor and you rotate to the side. And that's a Russian twist. So 
the next pairing of exercises, we're going to start with the chest press. Now you could do this with a band or some weights. Um, I'll show you with the band to start off with. So you pop the band on the back of you and you will push the band away from you, bring it in. So just like a press up from last week, but this time we're adding resistance with something rather than our body weight. And if you wanted to, you could do it with some weights, lean back just slightly and do a chest press. And it's probably best just to have your back supported if you're doing this. If you wanted to, you could lie down on the floor and do it as a floor press. And the second exercise for this pairing is bicycle crunches. Now, um, on a chair, for example, you would go opposite elbow to opposite knee. Depending, you know, you don't have to bring your knees up as high. If you're unable, you could also do it like this. And the floor version, if you wanted to make it harder, you could pop a band over the top of the knees and pop yourself on the floor and go opposite elbow to opposite knee. And the final pairing of exercises, the first one is lateral raises. So if I was sat down, I would lift my arms up to the side and down and try and think about having your thumbs pointing up to the sky. So rather than knuckles up, you go thumbs up. So lifting up and down. And if you wanted to do the stood up version, lift up to the side and down. And the last set of exercises, it's a chair crunch or normal crun uh, crunches on the floor. So all I'd want you to do is bring your ribs down towards your thighs. So you crunch down and up, working the tummy. And the floor version would be keeping your feet flat on the floor and then with the crunch you imagine you're keeping your chin nice and still and then come up and up. So thank you for joining me for another Workout Wednesday. We're going to put these on Facebook and Instagram for the next few weeks during the lockdown for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and tune in next week.